Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was good. <coughs> this is my favorite kind of adjustment. That was very juicy. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> We're looking at the bottom of the glutes. Oh, dang, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the coccyx again. <laughs> Loose, you was good. <laughs> Do it again. So you're gonna feel my fingertips on your hamstrings. <laughs> Use your hands and like cup your wrists. Uh. Unlock your full potential. At crack addicts. Lower back definitely hurts like when I'm like relaxing, sitting down, laying down. I can notice my lower back. Okay, it's every day? Yeah. All right, do you wake up with it in the morning or does it come on gradually um, throughout the it's day? It's more at like night. Okay, all right, how long have you been having that pain for? Mm, maybe like a year. All right, any accidents or injuries a year ago? No. Change of jobs? Um, yeah, the Amazon warehouse. Oh, okay, so you started working at, it, at a warehouse. Yeah. All right, tell me about your neck. Um, I don't know. It just, it, like, it, like, it feels crunchy when I do this. My uh -huh. shoulders feel crunchy. Like, you can hear, oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> and right. it, like, never, like, works out, I feel like. Do you get headaches? Yeah, I just recently, I feel like, been getting, like, migraines. Okay. So that's new within yeah. the last... Week, month, couple months? I want to say like a month. Okay. So we'll start off with an exam. Let me see what your spine says. And then when we get to the adjustment part, we'll go nice and slow. I'll explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it so there won't be any surprises. And then I'll get you adjusted. We'll go from there. Okay, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid-stance, and toe off are very symmetrical. No inversion, eversion, and uh, minimal supination, pronation observed there. Looking from the knee down, uh, I don't see any genuvarum, no genuvalgum. There is some interesting proportions. It does feel like from the knee to the ankle is shorter compared to knee to the hip. Okay, looking at the hip swing from left to right, it looks like we have a high left hip. The swing looks symmetrical from left to right for now. Arm swing is minimal, but I, I see equal distancing. But the right arm is closer to the right hip than the left arm. And then there's a shifting in the pelvis off to the right, a shifting of the thorax to the left. Looking at the height of the shoulders from here, we have a high left shoulder, most likely a high left ear too. Arches are intact, both sides. From the knee down is straight. There's, there's not really a varum, but it's a, it is a slight genuvarum with internal knee rotation, more pronounced on the left. Turn around and face the other way. And then looking at the Achilles, point your toes straight to the back. Yeah, and then looking at the Achilles tendon, we definitely have a bow in here. So there's definite pronation on the left. It's not quite as accentuated on the right, but still present. That's good. And then looking down, we can see a little bit more of a genuvarum curve here. Okay, you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, stand up nice and straight. Okay, looking at the back of the hamstrings here, very close. Uh, gluteal folds, there's no uh, major turning pronation, there's no major turning in this direction like that. And then looking from the top, the left side is flatter, suggesting an ASIN on the left. I'm going to place my fingertips on top of your hips, okay? Okay. High left hip, high left shoulder, high left ear. From the right. So like you're, you're definitely shifted this way in your pelvis. Like it goes like this. This is like just how you stand probably. Yeah. You model a lot, which like, like this constant, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very symmetrical at the top, left to right. And as soon as we get down to here, there's a major drop off in the heat. Like this is just, very cool compared to the rest of the spine, like almost like it's blocked here. Yeah, that's where it'd be hurting. That's where it I hurts. Feel like... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper into the spine with my fingers. Is that terrible or what? Mm -hmm. Doesn't hurt that bad. Kind of feels good. Tender. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that hurts. Yeah, that hurts right there. L5. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the SI joints here. Okay, right or left? Or um, same? I wanna say same. Right, left, or same? Uh, same. Right, left, or same? Um, same. Okay, I'm gonna look at the top of your gluteal cleft, okay? This tells me which way the sacrum is tilted. Okay. So we're gonna lower down to the top of the gluteal cleft right there, and we definitely have a pointing to the right, so the sacrum is tilted this way. All right, I want you to make a pointer finger right here. And we're gonna to point to that right there. Point the, uh, put that right, no, 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 put this arm out to the side. All right, push up against my hand right here. Push up right here. Let's bring this up to here now, push up. Strong, did you feel that? Ready, push here. Feel how it blows out? Yeah. Put it right here, push up, push. Feel like it's strong when we do that? Yeah. Okay, let that relax. So, tender right there? Yeah. Is that one tender over here? Not as much, right? Yeah. All right, so this is yin, this is yang. So we just have to work this and open this channel up. This is an acupuncture move. Okay. Here it comes. Okay, that's better. Okay, ready? Push up against me, yin. Push up against me, yang. Dang, that's crazy. That's good, right? This still needs to be adjusted here, though. All right, let's see this. I'm going to check the ribs. Put this arm out straight. Push up against me here. Strong. Good. Push. Keep it strong. Good. This one right there. Okay, ready? Push. Strong. Push. Blow it out. <coughs> then relax. All right, let's test the lumbar spine. So first, lift this right leg up in the air. Like this? Yes. Go all the way up. Down. Okay, left. Down. Right. Down. Left. Right, down. It's tender. Yeah. Nice gentle breathing. I'm just going to hold these two points, these two segments, C1 at the top, L5 at the bottom. They reflex towards each other. That's better up there, right? Mm -hmm. How about this down here? Is this still tender? Yeah. All right, this one needs an adjustment. All right, so you have some tight muscles here. I'm going to do, we're going to put some magnesium on your muscles and I'm going to scrape these spine muscles a little bit, okay? Breathe. Good, good breathing. Oh, that was the worst part. You did great. <laughs> 
Okay, there's one trigger point here on the flute. So I'm gonna push into this, okay? Yeah. Deep breathing in through your nose. Okay, one more time, deep breath in. Okay, good job. Okay, so we're gonna start on this one. You're gonna take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, we'll give it a little push. Good, shoulders sinking as you breathe out. Tender, right? Yeah. Okay, deep breath in and out. Gentle, gentle shoulders sinking in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the coccyx again. Ready? Left, right. Um, left. All right, so I'm going to do a technique called Logan Basic. This helps stretch out the fibers of the coccygeal plegment, plexus. Nice, gentle breathing. Okay. We're going to adjust this hip. It's turned inward like that. We need to bring it out like this. So bottom leg straight. I'm going to scoot you forward here just a little bit. Scoot this forward here just a little bit. So. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. Good. And then as you breathe out, just like the other adjustments, I'm going to follow your breath. We're going to bring your hip down. Then we're going to pull in that direction like that, okay? Okay, nice and gentle. Good. One. Okay, deep breath in and out. Shoulders, Lucy Goose here, good. Oh, I, good. I was scared it was gonna hurt. No, you did great. <laughs> okay, right? Yeah. Are any of it gonna hurt? No. Okay. I mean, maybe. We'll see. Let the shoulders go. Good. Good. Okay, breathing in and out. The shoulders relaxing. Good. I know that one wasn't as exciting. Yeah. But that was the I actual felt good, though. one. Really? Yeah. It's been that be bothering me? Yeah. That's my lower back. Yeah. Oh my god. Your lower back's fixed now. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm gonna crack your neck now. Wait, I actually have to do one check first. Wait, I'm scared. Alright, that's okay. You can breathe. <laughs> Just breathe. I'm gonna check your neck. Let your head relax here. side here first okay you're breathing just like the other adjustments I'm following your breath okay right there right on top of that bone right there we're just gonna very gently push it in that direction you're doing good just let your head drop into the table good shoulders dropping mm, I felt good do it again just breathing I'm adjust the occiput on this side like this push it in that direction Okay, let's give it a try. Nice, gentle breathing in, breath. Shoulders and hips as sinking in. Just let it all go. <sighs> that was it. Oh, that felt good. Uh. Right, hold your knees together as hard as you can. Hold them together. Hold. Hold it. Did you feel that? Yeah. Kind of felt like it was my <laughs> It wasn't. It was your pubic bone. It was above it. Is that tender? Uh, a little bit. Is that tender? Oh, yeah. That's tender, huh? 
definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna adjust your pubic bone, okay? Okay. So same thing, you're just gonna breathe. There's no popping on this one, but we're just gonna gently thrust into this direction, good. We're gonna do it on inspiration, so take a deep breath in. Gallbladder valve is located two inches lateral and two inches superior. The sixth costal arch, underneath the costal arch, the sixth rib. It's the beginning of the duct. Did you feel that drain? This is better over here, right? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. That was quick, it went yeah, quick. Yeah, I didn't even notice my hand. There's still a little bit more. Okay, so the contact point for this is on the sternum, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's at the line of the nipple, so I'm gonna go right in, directly in between. Go like this, use your hands and like cup your breasts out a little bit. Uh, uh, not mm -hmm. with your, just like this. Oh. Just like, yeah. This one over here, right? Mm -hmm. If we can bear the two. That one right there. Yeah. All right, so this should be tender right here on the sternum as well. Oh, yeah. Right there. Two points, really. Okay, you're breathing. Alright, put your thumbs on top of your pubic bone. What's that right? No, no. Okay, ready? I'm gonna contact this point right where your thumbs are, okay, above your pubic bone. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's move your thumbs to the side just a little bit. Okay, deep breath in. And out. Breathing, you're doing good. Good. Good breath. Good, just one more. Out. Good. One more. In breath. Deep in breath. Deep in breath. Uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, I'm gonna do some cranial adjustments now, okay? These are intraoral adjustments, so we're gonna help fix the sinus stuff. Okay. Alright, so uh, let's see here. Go ahead and uh, just open your mouth a little bit. Okay, close. Nice, gentle breathing. Okay, open. Yeah, this is clogged now. That's clogged? Mm -hmm. All right, one more time, look up. <coughs> there it is. <sighs> Better. Sinking in. Good. It hurt my hips, but it felt good in my neck. I do nails, so my neck tends to hurt a lot. I'm looking down, mm -hmm. um, but like when I wake up in the morning, my back hurts really bad. Okay. 
All right, so how off is it every morning that you wake up in the morning? Just about, yeah. All right, how far back can you remember neck pain? Um, I've had neck pain for at least like the last few years. Okay, let's talk about the POTS. Okay, so what are your symptoms? Uh, whenever I stand up, it's usually when I stand up or like walking a short distance, uh, my heart will start to race and I get dizzy. And if I don't sit down, like usually I'll just sit down and it fixes it. But if I don't, my vision will start to black out. Hip swing is very quiet. There's very little motion from left to right. But we're slightly more accentuated towards the right and then restricted towards the left. Good. Good. Hip is higher on the right. That matches the high left shoulder. I'm going to touch the bottom of your feet, okay? You let your arms relax. Good, and arches are intact. Your arch on the right side actually is decreased. Left arch is intact. Oh, okay, so just observing the spine first. Nice and gentle, relaxed shoulders. Good, we do have the high left shoulders. Let's do this, like bend forward just a little bit. Like bring your head down and then bend forward a little bit. And you really clearly visualize almost your entire spine here. <laughs> And then like right here where your spine should be the most prominent, should really stick out the most here, um, it starts to disappear. So we have a little bit of a flattening of this curve. It's very mild and shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. Definitely more down here in the left. Picking up mostly left. You right handed? Yes. This is a temperature evaluation using the back of the hands, which are more sensitive to temperature. Got much warmer here on the right side. The right side is it's the warmness is normal though. I think it's actually you're you're a little bit too cool on this <laughs> side. The muscles on the right side of your spine are working harder. Much more prominent musculature on the right side too versus the left side. Does this feel like this no Does it feel a little bit more tension over here yeah okay good good no dampness no dryness good skin moisture content here okay i'm going to push a little bit deeper into your spine Ticklish? No. Tender? A little. It feels good though. Good. That was tenderness right here in this area where that flattening is. I'm going to palpate the SI joints. Okay, do you have any tenderness here in the upper left SI? Yeah. Good. How about the lower left? Oh, yeah. Good. Let's try the right side. Tenderness here? Yeah, not as bad. Lower right? Yeah. Which is worse? Lower left? Or lower right? Lower left, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you said that sometimes your back hurts while you're sitting. Yeah. The sacrum is most likely the culprit when you have seated low back pain. Maybe that's being affected too by your sleep position, so we'll go over that kind of information at the end. Okay. Okay, let's bring your chin down to your chest. Good movement in the cervical spine, lower cervical spine. Let's go up. Any pain, discomfort, tension there? Yeah. Where at point to it? Around this area. Okay, we're in the mid C spine there. Yep, and there's just a little, as soon as I touch the C5, feel that little bubble there? Yep. A little bit of swelling outside of the joint. All completely normal biomechanical stuff that we're gonna take care of today. Okay, let's go right ear to the, or left ear to the shoulder. Go ahead now, right side. Good. Do you feel more restricted going one way? Going this way. First thing that you're going to feel is my fingertips on your hamstrings. I'm going to slide up to the bottom of the glute fold. It's lower on the right. That matches. So the right lower glute fold means this right hip has gone backwards. That matches the high iliac crest. So far, everything's very straightforward. Looking from the top, let's see. Are your, are your feet even, toes even? Let's bring your toes together. 
Good, and then looking from the top, we're accentuated so the right glute comes out like this, which means this one's possibly externally rotated. I'm gonna push down into your right hip here. Do you have any tenderness, discomfort in your right SI joint? No, a little bit. Okay, we'll do the left side. No. No pressure there. Uh, a little bit, the harder you press. Okay, the lower SI joint here. Let's see. Here Yeah. versus here. Definitely the lower one. This is where the tendons insert into the skull. Do you have headaches ever? Yes. How often do you have headaches? Very frequently. Every day? Not every day, but several a week. Do you get them in the back of your head here? Um, yeah, some of them. I feel like most of them are like sinus headaches behind my eyes. Gotcha. Is this tender right here? Yes. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. I'm gonna follow your breath down like this with my hands and then when we get to the bottom of the breath, that's when we push, okay? Okay, let's give it a try here, deep breath in. Good. Okay, coming up to T3, another deep breath in. Good, and end out. Oh. Gentle breathing, a little bit, let your head relax here. That's just like that. Good. Good, let's get right here. Good. Let the head relax, shoulder relax. Good, just kind of sink in. Gentle, 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 gentle. Good breath. Oh. Okay, shoulders sinking in. That one out, very good. We're gonna do it on the next breath. So take another deep breath in. Good, and let the shoulders sink as you breathe out. Oh. Good, okay, let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Come all the way down, good. Let your head relax, let your back relax into this. Oh. Let that one go. Good. Okay, these are we just low back. We're gonna bend the top leg like this. Good, I'm gonna scoot you forward just a little bit here. Let's see the table. Shoulders coming forward just a little bit. Good shoulders sinking in. Good. Good little push here. Good. Oh. Good. Lay your back. Perfect. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, as you breathe out, your shoulders are gonna come this way. We're gonna bring your hips down. Good shoulders, hips, good. Juicy. We're just gonna do a little bit of traction here. So I'm just gonna like kind of gently pull like this and warm up your neck. Okay. Nice gentle breathing. I'm gonna bring you over to the side like this. You can just try to like let it go, let your head drop into the table. I'm gonna follow your breath as you breathe out, just like this with my fingers and a little push like that, okay? okay gentle, 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 gentle breathing. Good. 
Little push. Go let your head drop. Yeah. Let it go. That was good. Gentle, 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 following your breath, letting the shoulders, head, neck sink in. Good. We're going to come in like this. Good. And let this drop. Let this nice and loose, nice and loosey goose. Good. Oh. <laughs> So I'm going to use this uh, towel to support your neck like that, okay? Your hips are held in place by the pins. So you go like this, go like this. Now, as you breathe out, we're going to follow your breath with the towel, and then at the end, we give a pull in that direction, okay? Okay. Okay, let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Good. Keep your teeth together. Good. Oh. Oh. Good. How's it feel? Much better. Good. Any low back stuff? How do you feel? How's your low back feel? A lot of pressure is going on my lower back too. Good. Keep squeezing. Good. Under your elbow, relax. Some like neck and shoulder pain, okay. and sometimes like lower back pain. Do you get headaches? Mm -hmm. How often do you get headaches? Probably almost every day. <laughs> For how long can you remember having headaches every day? Um, probably like two years. Okay. Anything changed two years ago? New job, new home? New job. Has anyone looked at your neck pain before? Has anyone tried to help you with it? No. This no. is like the first time I've ever been to a chiropractor. Okay. Or done any... Anything like this. Okay, no massage ever. Okay, first mm -hmm. time to a chiropractor. How do you feel? Excited, nervous. Okay, good. Those are, those are the two correct things <laughs> to do. Okay, looking at the feet first. We're definitely pronated on the right and possibly left too. From knee to ankle looks good. I don't see any genuvarum or valgum. Okay, looking at the hip swing. We're definitely diving off to the left and looks restricted. Pronating on the left. Not as much on the right, but still there, bilateral pronation. So this is diving in. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on the medial knee, outer left hip. Go ahead and put your hands on your hips. All right, okay, I'm gonna replace your hands with my fingers, so go ahead and move your hands. Good, okay, definitely a high left hip, high left shoulder. Bottom of the scapula right here, so definitely a high left shoulder. This is significant too, left shoulder. And you, you do just, you just lean a little bit off to the right. And then your head goes like this in compensation. So I'm going to do a, a temperature scan now. The back of the fingers are more temperature sensitive. That's where all the heat is right here at the bottom of the scapula. Then it cools off and then it gets really, the most temperature increases right here at the top of the shoulders. You don't really have any of that postural change where the where you have the hump right here. Mm -hmm. So this looks good. Your spine is nice and straight up and down. I don't see any deviations to the left or right. I don't suspect that you have any pinched nerves or herniated discs. So 
all green flags so far, okay? All right, I'm gonna palpate the SI joints here. Tender? Is tender at all? Mm, a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the lower SI. Any tenderness here? Mm-hmm. Okay, right side, any tenderness here? Mm-hmm. Right side here. Mm-hmm. Okay, where is it more? Lower right or lower left? Oh, uh, lower left. Tender? Mm-hmm. What about this side on the same? Is this is this tender? Mm, not as much. So more tenderness on the so the your muscles are more prominent on this right side. They're just kind of like they're just they're harder than the muscles on the left. So we have to figure out is this the normal side hypertonic or is this the normal side? Oh, okay, let's lean to the right. This is my left. Good, come back to the right. Okay, right. Good movement there on right lateral flexion, left. Less movement there. Which one feels more restricted to you, left? The left. Okay, I'm gonna look at your uh, glutes now. This helps determine which way the pelvis is rotated, okay? All right, so looking at the bottom of the glutes first, the glute fold, this is glute is lower on the right. That means your right glute comes down like this. That means your right hip has gone backwards or left forward. Looking from the top, the toes are even. Go looking from the top, the right side is more out like this, and the right glute comes out, which means that that one's turned externally, or this one's turned internal, internally. Any pain, discomfort, tension here? Mm -mm. Here? Mm -mm. Here? A little bit. Here? Mm -hmm. More here? Yeah. That's where it's the most tender there. Tenderness, discomfort here? Mm -hmm. That's L5, L4 here? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're checking between the L4, L5, L4, L5 disc. Left, right, which one more? The right. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, good, and then out. And I'm gonna follow your breath like this with my hands as you breathe out. And then when we get to the end of your breath, very good. Okay, let's give it a try, go take a deep breath in. Good, and out, following it down, gentle. Another deep breath in. Now, it's sinking in. This time you're going to take a deep breath in, and then when you get to the then at the top of the breath, that's when we push, okay? Okay. All right, so let's give it a try. Deep breath in, all the way in, far as you can go. Good, and then let it all sink as you breathe out. Let your shoulders drop, breathe out. Here, we're going to bend the top leg like this, good. Let's get your forward here like this. Okay, so nice and gentle breathing. As you breathe out, I'm going to stretch your shoulders like this. Okay, it's already starting to move because we're in the right position. We're gonna bring down like this, and then we're gonna push like that, okay? Okay, okay let's give it a try. Go and take a deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, sh good, there's more, hold on. Good, lay on your back. Okay, so nice and gentle. Take a deep breath in, and out. Good, good, shoulders, good. Hang your back. As you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath. Just try to let your head completely drop down into the table. And then as you breathe out, good. I'm gonna follow your breath and then we're gonna push like that, okay? Mm-hmm. 
All right, let's give it a try. You're going to take a nice soft breath in. And then let your shoulders relax here. Let your head just kind of loose. It goes good. 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 Right here on top of the atlas right there. Oh, my God. Good. So nice and gentle, just like the other adjustments. We're breathing. Good. We're going to come right up into here. Ooh. All right. So we're going to go like this. And as you breathe out, we're going to follow your breath. And then when we get to the end of your breath, we pull like that, okay? I'm gone. <laughs> You're going to be fine. It's okay. Good. All you have to do is keep your teeth together. Good. Breathe out. And just let it all sink in. Good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you feel all the way down? I don't know. <laughs> It just happened so fast, I don't know. Shoulders and hips, everything's sinking in. Good. Oh. That was the one. <laughs> okay, come back as much as we can here, good.